Hello all, welcome to session 25 of c .net training series. In this session, I'm going to explain and practically demonstrate about literals. So let's get started. First of all, what exactly are these literals? Let me explain with an example. I'll take an example of a statement in c -sharp saying int a is equal to 9. Here, what is int? What is a? What is this equal symbol? What is this 9? Okay, let me explain. Coming to the first one, that is int. Int is a data type. It's a data type. Okay, coming to the next one, that is uh, a. A is a variable. Here, a is a variable. Then what about this equal? Equal is an operator. This is nothing but an operator. Equal is an assignment operator in C shop. Okay. And last one, this nine, the data, whatever the data nine you are seeing, right? It is actually called as a literal, guys. Okay. We generally call this data or value as a literal. So in C shop, how many literal types are there? Okay, we are going to explain in this session. Okay, what are the different literals we have in C sharp that I'm going to cover in this session? Starting with the integer literals. Okay, integer literals we have them as like this 10 10. Okay, I'll give an example, guys. For each and every literal type, I'm going to give an example here practically. So if I write int a is equal to 10, okay, here 10 is an integer literal. The value 10 is an integer literal here. It can be uh, plus 10 or minus 10, okay? Both minus 10 is also an integer literal only. Minus 10 or plus 10 or nothing but the integer literals. Then we have unsigned integer literals. Next type of literals we have are unsigned. Unsigned means only positive values. Negative cannot be there. In integer literals, we have positive values and negative values also. But coming to the unsigned integer literals, we only have the positive values. So here, we can write something like this, okay? So, unsigned integers, uh, generally we store uh, the unsigned integer literals into a variable switch of uh, u int. u means unsigned int. Here, you see minus 10 cannot be accepted. Minus 10 integer literal cannot be accepted uh, by the variable of the unsigned integer, okay? So here we can only store the unsigned integer values. That is, uh, either you can store 10, which is a positive, this is allowed, and at the end, uh, as an optional, you can put small u or uppercase u. Uppercase or lowercase u can add. It's optional, guys, okay? u is optional here. Either you can say 10, 10 is an unsigned integer literal. 10 u is whether it is capital or lowercase. All these are unsigned integer literals, okay? So here are the examples. u int a is equal to 5. Here 5 is an unsigned integer literal. 5 u is also an unsigned integer literal. 5 capital u is also an unsigned integer literal. Now going to the next one that is long literals, okay? Long literals. You see the byte has a uh, eight bit, whereas uh, int has, uh, sorry, short has 16 bit, int has 32 bit, and long has 64 bit, okay? So much of size. So here, long literals, it's not compulsory to end the long literals with uh, lowercase l or capital L, which are optional here, okay? So, uh, if you are giving some big number like this, okay, I'm copying that number. And here, if I say inch a is equal to, if I give that big number here, I'll get an error, okay? Because this is not, a, you know, right? It's not an integer literal, okay? It is a long because it's of the size is very big. So what I have to do? I have to put long here, okay? Then this long literal will be accepted. You see, this long literal can be appended with either lowercase l or capital L, okay, both are fine. So this L line, lowercase L line, capital L are optional in case of the long literals, okay? Those are the long literals. Then we have unsigned means only positive, okay? At least in case of long literals, if you give minus here, okay, it will take. Minus or plus will be taken in case of long literals, but unsigned means only positive values. If I give U long here, you see, immediately we are going to get an error because only positive values are allowed in case of U long, okay? Negative values are not allowed. You see, positive values are allowed. Here at the end, optionally, you can provide without anything also is fine, or optionally, you can provide UL 
or capital UL. Okay, anything is fine. Unsigned long in, uh, long literals need to be appended either with uh, without any UL with UL or capital UL. Okay, these are unsigned long literals. Then we have float float literals. Float literals uh, are for storing like uh, you know right. Uh, if I create a variable like this, float a is equal to float a is equal to 123.456. If I put a semicolon, you'll get an error because this is not a float literal. This is a double literal. Okay. If you don't give anything, if you don't append here, it will by default it will become a double literal. I cannot assign a double literal to a variable of the float data type. So in order to assign a decimal value to a variable of the float data type, then I have to append that with either lowercase f or capital F. It's mandatory here. Okay. In float literals, the lowercase f or capital F is mandatory. Okay, is mandatory. At the end of the floating point literal, you have to mandatorily provide lowercase f or capital F. Then coming to the double literal, just now I told you about double literal, right? If so if I try to create a variable like this double a is equal to 123.456. Here, 123.456 is a decimal value, which is a floating point literal by default. It's not compulsory to provide uh, lowercase d or capital D at the end. Okay, it's okay if you provide also is fine, but it's not compulsory. It's optional, guys. Okay, d or capital D is optional. If you don't provide also, that is also double literal. That is one two point three four is also a double literal. Okay. Then we have decimal literals, which is the double the size of the double literal. Double literal is a sixty four bit size, whereas decimal literal uh, decimal literals are one twenty eight. Okay, bits of size. So it's a double the size of the double. Okay. So here it's a, it's mandatory to provide uh, in, in case of double literals, it's mandatory to provide M or capital M. Okay. So here uh, decimal decimal A is equal to 12.34. Okay. So I cannot provide the, you see, it's compulsory to provide lowercase M or capital M in this case. Okay. This literal is called as this literal separately is called as decimal literals. Okay. It's mandatory. So coming to the string literals, guys, uh, whatever the text that you provide in double quotes is will become a string literal. Okay, here you see whatever the text that you provide in the double quotes, the string text that you provide between double quotes, right? So here I'll write string name is equal to Arun. My name is Arun Motori or something. Okay, you see this particular text is a string literal, guys. Okay, put a semicolon here, the error will be gone. This portion is a string literal. The text which is surrounded by double quotes is nothing but the string literal. Then character literal, a single character letter, okay, a single letter covered by single quotes will become a character literal. This is an example of the character literal, okay. So if I say char a is equal to yes, okay, this is a character literal. A single letter covered by the single quotes is nothing but the character literal. Here, this can be either a alphabet or it can be a symbol or it can be a number, but it should be surrounded by single quotes, then it will become a character literal. Okay. Then Boolean literal, Boolean literal, only two possibilities that is true and false. Okay. True or false. True and false. Okay. So if I say bool, A is equal to true. Here, true is a Boolean literal. Okay. Here, false, if I provide, here, false is a Boolean literal. Okay. Only two possibilities in case of Boolean literals. And finally, in case of literals, okay. In literals, and finally, we have escape sequences also, which is part of the literals only. Escape sequences are also part of the literals only in C sharp. Okay. So, what are the escape uh, sequences and why they are required? I'll explain now. Okay. Slash n. Why slash n is required? I'll tell you. Okay. What is the reason of using the slash n? Wherever you provide the slash n, right, it will take you to the new line. For example, if I write like this, my name is Arun Motor. If I type like this, if I run this, you see in the single line, my name is Arun Motor will be printed in the output. Okay, in the output, in a single line, my name is Arun Motor will be printed. What if I add something like this? After my, I'll write slash n. After name, I'll write slash n. After is, again slash n. These are escape sequences, okay? Escape sequences. This slash n is in one of the escape sequences, which is a literal type actually. Wherever I put slash and right, if I run the code, it will it will take me to the new line. Slash and stands for new line. You see, after my name, after name is, after is Arun, all coming in new line, okay, instead of same line. That is what is slash and escape sequence. One of the escape sequences in C sharp. 
so i'll i'll cover one more one a uh, few other uh, escape sequences for you now okay uh, that is uh, slash t slash t slash t wherever you put slash t right uh, it will it will press uh, tab space okay tab space it will give a tab space here wherever you put uh, slash t it will give the tab space so let's run this and see that uh, the tab space will be given my tab space name tab space is tab space around tab space like that okay slash t means tab space then we have slash double quotes okay so why double quotes are required i'll tell you so i'll remove this uh, things Okay, I'll remove all the slash t first, and I'll explain about slash double quote. Okay, backward slash double quote. What is that sequence? I'll tell you. Okay, here I want to print something like this. Okay, I love C sharp programming. Okay, I love C sharp programming is something I want to print. So here I want to highlight this C sharp. So I want to surround that with double quotes. The moment I provide double quotes, guys, uh, here I'm going to get an error. You see, errors are coming. I'm, I will not be able to print like this. Okay, the exact way I love in double quotes, I want to print C sharp, and programming should be printed. But it is not possible, guys, because already double quotes are there, right? Right here, already double quotes are there. Inside that, again, double quotes. If you are providing that, it will not take. This right line method will not take. To overcome that problem, to represent the double quotes in our uh, right line statement, you have to add a backward slash before this double quotes. This is an escape sequence, okay, which represents double quotes. Okay, when I run this code in the output, I love in C sharp will be printed in double quotes. You see, I love C sharp with double quotes will be printed. To get this kind of output, we have to use this escape sequence. Okay, then we have similarly, guys, we have a backward slash single quote, backward slash. Sometimes we have to use, we have to overcome the single quote problem where you can add this backward single quote. Okay, then sometimes when you give the path, okay, when you give the path. Then, um, for example, I'll try to print a path, guys. Okay, I'll in my I'll go to my machine. I'll go to one location. Let's say I'll go to downloads folder. Uh, in one of the folder, I'll go. I'll I'll give this path, guys. Okay, I'll just copy this path and provide it here like this. Okay, you see errors are coming already. The single code it doesn't understand. Okay, so if you really want to print single quotes, uh, sorry, uh, sorry, this uh, single backward slash it doesn't understand. Okay. If you really want to print a single backward slash, you have to append that with another backward slash. Okay, this is this will represent a single backward slash. Okay, wherever it is required, put sing, uh, double backward slash, which is nothing but equal to a single backward slash. Okay, if you want to print this kind of path properly with single backward slashes, you have to provide double backward slashes in place of the single backward slashes and run it. You see, in the output, you will get a proper path. C colon. You see, only single backward slashes are coming. Double backward slash is an escape sequence for the single backward slash. Okay. So backslash for single code, for double code, for uh, tab space, horizontal top space, for new line, all these are the different escape sequences. There are other escape sequences also, but uh, we generally don't use this kind of escape sequences in a regular manner. This much of understanding is enough, guys. Okay. So guys, uh, we are done with the literals. I explained different type of literals in C sharp as part of this session. So in the next session, I'm going to cover another C sharp.net topic. Till then, see you. Bye bye.